So I'm really happy to share with you a new add-on called Row Call. Um, it was designed by my son, uh, John Forrest Hogaboom, and with a little input from myself, Elizabeth McCarthy. And let me just give you a demonstration of how I use it, and then maybe you can make some connections to how it might help your work. So here I have a sheet, and the sheet is um, populated by this form. And the form is used for an assessment. And so each week, my students will fill out this grid as a rubric based on this rubric. So again, the standard, the beginning, basic, proficient for each different criteria for their writing. And so each week that we get the more we use it, again, Robert, and then they put a link to their, their URL um, there as well. And we can populate that using another add-on. I won't demonstrate that right now, but um, the names and the, the, the address addresses are, are populated to the form as well as the week. So, and here I give comments and feedback. I'm just, I'm not going to write that right now and then submit. So this goes into a, a whole class, as you see right there, um, collection of, of the scores. I can look at from the form, the summary of responses for my whole class and get a general idea of how they're all doing collectively. But individually, I'd like to be able to pull out their individual scores each week and, and look at them by name. Um, so to do that, this add-on will, will help us there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to add-ons and get add-ons. And in the add-on store, it doesn't have its full logo yet. So you might have to scroll down to the bottom. And it's a tiny little one called Row Call right here. It's also in the, if you sort by education, it's in the education. So it's checking, and just like most add-on, it's going to ask you to accept that it's connecting to your drive. And I'm going to hit accept. And once it's done, you'll see the little pop-up at the top. Yes, right here. And if you click on that Learn More link, it's going to bring you to the website here where you can find more details and you can contact us as well um, There's question, if you have questions. Um, there's a little form to fill out. So feel free to give us feedback, and if you have any problems, let us know. So here I go to add-ons. There's and I'm going to hit start. Now, as you see, each of my columns has a header, the name, URL, whatever, but also there's the numbers, column A, B, C, or D. Now you could sort it by the headers that you have, but if you don't have headers, you uncheck this and just it will, uh, the A, B, C, D, whatever, will come up. I also have automatically update sheets set uh, and checked because my data is collected through a form. And so I want, every time a form comes in, I want it to populate the individual sheets as well. So I left that checked. But if you're doing edits here on the main form um, and you've already run it the first time, it's going to be jumpy. Um, so you might want to uncheck it. Um, but for now, with, if you're feeding it through forms, leave it checked. And so now I'm going to run it. So I'm going to hit sort and update and by name. So it's sorting and updated by the co column name. So it's creating down here, as you see, a new sheet for each of my students that were, was in that column. And it's pulled out all the data for the individual students. And if I fill out a new form, uh, it's going to actually not only go to the whole form response sheet, but it's going to go to their individual sheet as well. So as you can see, this is a very useful tool for differentiating. Look at your individual student work. And if you really think about some of the other add-ons and some formulas that you can use, you can make this even more engaging. Um, I'll, I'll probably add another tutorial on using a, um, a, a formula for, for adding the, the scores up and using the copy down add-on. So every time a form is submitted, it will add it up as well. And then we could just make a graph for each student on their sheet. Um, that graph could be interactive. You could get the embed code. They could put it on their site or, you know, there's lots of applications for this um, in being able to um, visualize the student work over time. So again, feel free to, to contact us and 
what, what would be really nice too is to get some feedback. Uh, there's a little um, uh, scoring for each of the add-ons. You can, you can actually uh, give it a rating. So if you, if you would, that would be great if you find this useful. Um, so here we go. Let's see if I can manage to do that. So manage and maybe it's in help. Yes, view in the store. So if you go to the store, the add-on store, uh, Chrome Web Store, um, there's a way to, again, if you scroll down uh, to rate it. So you could give us some stars and that would, that would be great. And some feedback too. And then you could publish it and, and share it. So the more, you know, it's a free add-on. I think it's really useful. Um, you know, share it with other, other people that you, you know use forms and sheets, and I hope you find it useful. Thank you.